As a player, Jennifer, how do you find this new rule? I love it. Do you? Yeah, I do. I mean, it, there's there's obviously some some things good and bad about it, but I, you know, we were just the players were getting so good at the tick sh shot to to split the center guard off the center line that it it almost was inevitable as to what was going to happen, and this just creates a lot more interest, a lot more interesting ends. I find it uh, as a fan, as a curling fan, more interesting to watch. So I, I enjoy it. Thumbs up for me. Good. <laughs> so hopefully it's a rule that it becomes a, a rule instead of a trial. Yeah, because we've seen it now this week that uh, the corner guard tip now is something that the leads have to really practice because that's being played a lot more now than it ever was. But this week, more surprisingly, we've seen people deciding to put the centre guards up when they're needing a two or three, they're down in the game it goes against the grain, keep the centre open when you've got last stone, no they've been putting the guards up so they can keep them and yep. can't get them ticked, so it's a completely different concept it is, and I was almost you can almost go as far as saying there's, you couldn't, shouldn't be able to chip the corner guards in either if you're, so we'll see where it goes